Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, where you can find the most in-depth video walkarounds on our different Ford and Lincoln models down to the specific trim. We call them our complete guides because we go over all the standard equipment, all the different optional packages, equipment groups, standalone options, very thorough videos. So if you like that type of content, hit the red subscribe button down there. That way you can get subscribed to our YouTube channel with this great content and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. In this video, it's more of a documentary. Uh, so my lease is up on my Fusion, so I decided it's time. I want to get an F-150. I haven't owned one yet, but I've done a lot of videos on them. Uh, so I'm kind of a, a product specialist when it comes to the Ford lineup and especially the F-150. So I decided, how would I equip my uh, truck? I sat down with my son. He's like, hey, if you want to get an F-150, how would you have it equipped out? And so we sat down with uh, on Ford.com and kind of configured what I was looking for. And so you're going to see the results of that. And we're going to walk around it and I'll let you see why I chose the XLT trim. Also, uh, the different packages I added and what other, stand, what other op, op, optional uh, aftermarket ads that I put on the truck too. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, when I configured my truck, I went to uh, Ford.com, and you can do this yourself. It comes in real handy. Uh, go to Ford.com, uh, you, you go to Vehicles, pick your truck, and then go down to F-150. So at that point, once you pull that up on the website, you click that little blue icon right there, blue uh, button, it says Build and Price. When you click on that, it gives you two options. You can either build and price or you can find one at a dealer. If you build and price, click on that, you can actually see what, what's possible and how you can configure your truck. So click on that and you're gonna see all the different trim options on the, on the right side. On the left side, you wanna configure, especially if you want a certain cab configuration, it can narrow down a lot, a little quicker for you. So I chose the Super Crew uh, version here. I wanted four full size doors here. I also chose the five and a half foot bed and I chose 4x4. Four four. So I configured that and then I clicked over and I chose the XLT trim. And the main reason I chose the XLT trim is because it's the most versatile. So it's right in there you get a lot of equipment without having to break the bank by going to Lariat or you know the XL has some great options and some great packages on it but I wanted the XLT because a couple things that are available in the XLT aren't available on the XL trim. So I chose XLT. Also XLT will have the biggest rebates. So if you're wanting the best, uh, kind of, you kind of get a lot of those uh, different features for, you know, at a discounted price because of the better rebates you get. Uh, so I chose the XLT trim uh, to choose from. Now for colors, I did uh, have a lot of different versions. I love some of the, the grays that are available from Ford, uh, but then I, I was reminded this magma red. I love the magma red color uh, because in the sunlight, it is a deep, rich red, it's just gorgeous uh, during, the, during the, uh, the sunlight. And then at night or on those cloudy days, it turns to almost a black color. It, it's really dark. And so I just love the look of the, the magma red. Uh, I actually had a Lincoln with a really dark brown color that I really loved and this reminded me of that. And so I, I love the magma red, so I chose that color on the truck. Also for my engine, I chose the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. So, and the reason I did that, the standard engine for your XLT trim is the 3.3 liter V6 engine. I want a little more power than that. So I chose the 2.7. Now I almost, I kind of wanted to go up to the 5.0 liter V8 engine uh, because I love the sound, the truck sound that you get from the V8. But to me, you get as much torque on the 2.7 as you do with the 5.0. So for about, I think it's a uh, half the cost of the 5.0 engine, you can get the 2.7 and it's going to get 325 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque, which is the same amount of torque as you get with the 5.0 liter engine. Uh, so I know it's very powerful. I drove one as a demo. Off the line power is just unreal for a 2.7. Uh, so I chose the 2.7 liter V6 engine. Save a little bit on price that way. Still going to have plenty of performance. Uh, you know, if you're wanting to go to the maximum amount of, you know, towing, uh, that kind of thing, then you might, you know, think about uh, some, you know, whether or not you want to go up to the 5.0 for that reason, um, you know, but I really chose the 2.7. I think it's going to be just fine for me. I'm not going to probably tow a lot. Um, I'm probably going to put some things in the back of the truck, but for the most part, it's just driving around town there. So that will be powered with the 10-speed 10 10 
uh, automatic transmission on about all those engines other than the 3.3 so uh, you can go with that and you're gonna get the drive mode so the, the selectable drive modes are really cool and uh, I love that engine I think it's gonna be adequate engine for me uh, also the different gear ratios I did want an electronic lock and gear ratio and you're gonna see with the something I'm gonna add to the truck and if I want to go into kind of off-roading I want that electronic locking especially if I'm gonna tow something at any time electronic locking gear ratio so I chose the uh, this one here had the uh, this is actually one that was on our lot but it came real close to what I wanted so I went ahead and I was fine with it and this one had the 355 electronic locking I'd probably be fine with the 331s uh, but 331 355 I think are going to be a really good gear ratios for you uh, and get you any kind of some some nice blend between you know driving on the daily or towing with it pulling something you're going to be just fine with any, either the 331 or the 355. The more towing you do, the more the higher you want that to be. So if you're going to tow a little bit more, you might want a 355. If you're going to tow a lot, you might want the 373. Or if you're going to go off-roading a lot, you may want that 373. In fact, I think believe that's the gear ratio you get on the 5.0 liter if you get the FX4 package. So anyway, so that's kind of how this is. This one here is equipped. Uh, that's kind of way I liked it. But I also added some other things onto it. So let's talk about some of those. Now, once you order your XLT, you can get three different equipment groups. You have a 300, 301A, or 302A. Uh, and I, I wanted at least the 301A equipment group because I wanted to add some different appearance packages to the truck. And it does require to have the 301A or 302A. Now, the 301A equipment group is pretty well equipped. It does give you the eight-way power driver seat over here. It's going to give you the power adjustable pedals. That means they're going to be able to come forward and back, which I think is a great feature to have. Also, it's going to give you the auto dimming rear view mirror, uh, which is really nice when the cars come up behind you. Those, the mirror is going to dim for you. Also, you're going to get rear defrost uh, on the back glass, so to defrost that ice. And you're also going to get under seat storage. Uh, you're also going to get Sirius XM satellite radio. There's also the 302A equipment group, which adds the dual power seats. So now you're going to get a 10 way for the driver and front passenger as well as you're going to get heated seats up here, which I think is a, a nice game changer for me. I wanted this equipment group for that reason alone, but I also love the leather wrap steering wheel. So leather wrap steering wheel will also come with this equipment group. Uh, just love the feel of that versus the normal steering wheel you get. And the mirror is going to get upgraded to heat and turn signal indicator on the outside. I can't remember if that's part of the 300A or not, but you're going to get the heated feature is a big one for me uh, on that uh, the, the mirrors, so to defrost those mirrors. So also when you go to the 302A equipment group, you're going to get a big discount. Uh, so by uh, getting, uh, there's usually a package discount there, uh, that's a great savings uh, to go along with it. Uh, Ford does a nice uh, package discount as well as there's some different packages you can get discounts on. And this truck here will have a $2,500 package discount with a couple different options that were chose. Uh, and one of them was part of the 302A equipment group. Also with this equipment group you're, is where you're going to get an appearance package. So it's going to come standard th with the chrome appearance package unless you want to go with the optional sport appearance package. Let's take a look at that package. Now, one of the sport appearance packages, because there's another appearance package I'm putting on top of it that requires the sport appearance package uh, first to start with. So the sport appearance package is going to give you the body colored bumpers here on the front with the fog lights. You're going to get the body colored wheel lip moldings, door handles. Uh, also, you're going to get the in upgrade on the, normally you also get on the grill would be a two bar gray grill. Um, but because another package I'm getting on top of this one, uh, it's going to be, it, this one looks a little different than that. You're going to also get a different wheel running boards. They're going to be accent colored. They're using that gray instead. Um, but this is going to, this, uh, the running boards get uh, upgraded with the next package we're going to talk about. And then the interior, you're going to get, this is where you're going to get the bucket seats with the unique sport interior trim. So you're going to see those seats have those uh, tire treads. It looks like they're going through the seats and on the doors, you're going to get a black accent to those. And then this is where you get the console shifter. So sport appearance package, you don't get the floor shifter with a chrome. Uh, but you get it with any of your sport appearance package uh, vehicles. So it's going to get the console uh, shifter there, the floor shifter uh, with the console. That's another upgrade, a big upgrade with the sport appearance package. Uh, and it kind of just kind of starts it because at that point I wanted the black appearance package, which was new for this year. Uh, so I really like this appearance package. It does upgrade the grill. So you're going to see this, uh, this grill up here. We do see this with the XL STX package. They're bringing that grill over to this one. So black grill inserts with the body colored surround. Uh, so you get upgraded there. The headlight assemblies is another big deal. You're going to get a blacked out headlight assembly in there. Uh, give it that sport look or the black appearance package look. You also give these nice 20 inch wheels. 
So I wanted, I like those. So 20 inch black wheels on these and they're not a high gloss. They're a nice uh, finish to those and I like that. Um, also, you do get the, the F-150 is going to get blacked out here. So F-150 XLT be blacked out with this package. Uh, it's included black running boards on the side. Over here, your, F, your 4x4 will also get a uh, black accent to it uh, here on the back. So it kind of dresses everything up back here in the back. So real nice look to it um, on the interior too. Uh, of course, it's going to get you this and all the same sport features on the inside with those bucket seats and the floor shifter. So I wanted those two packages. Also, this does have the uh, power equipment group. Power equipment group, uh, I believe, is required to get one, the class four receiver hitch. So I wanted to make sure I had a receiver hitch in the back. So you're going to have a class four receiver hitch with a four pin, seven pin wiring and your smart trailer tow connector that comes along with that and trailer sway control. But to get that, you have to, on the 302A equipment group, you're required to get the power equipment uh, group or power equipment package or whatever it's called. And that's going to give you the power sliding rear window back here, but it's also going to give you the LED box lighting. I really love the LED box lighting. It just lights up everything inside the truck. Uh, with those LED lights in the corner and on the back of the cab, as well as you get the 110 outlet with this. Uh, so you have a 110 outlet on the front with your PowerPoint there on the dash, and you're gonna also get a 110 outlet behind the console, since you have the console shifter with the PowerPoint back there. So uh, really nicely uh, with that power equipment group that was ordered on this. So that's how I had my uh, vehicle equipped. XLT uh, Super Crew 4x4 with the 2.7 uh, V6 EcoBoost engine. Also added the 302A equipment group, sport appearance package, the black appearance package, the power equipment group was also added to this, giving me a really nicely well equipped truck. Uh, of course, class four receiver hitch was added as optical equipment as well as the 355 electronic locking gear ratios. Uh, this particular truck, it, and I wouldn't probably order navigation, but this truck it was on our lot, already had navigation on it, so that's good. I might use it from time to time, but nav wasn't a, a deal breaker for me. Uh, as well as the 355s, I would have been okay with the 331s, but that's kind of how that's equipped. Uh, so really nice, I, that gives me a nice magma red color with the black accents on it. I don't have any chrome on the truck. Uh, to me, it just gives a nice sport look to it, but I'm not done yet. Doing some nice aftermarket uh, videos here and some different custom builds that we do. We've had a lot of different things that we can add to our trucks. So I'm gonna add a few things to this truck. So uh, let's go and add those things and then we're gonna give you a look at what the finished product is. So my custom build is done. Now one of the things that I, when thinking about this, I could have gone with a Roush off-road package or even a Celine uh, package. I wanted something more one of a kind, plus I didn't wanna spend the money that it would cost to get that entire package. Uh, one of the things that this does have a factory 20 inch wheel, so I didn't wanna uh, pay for a, another wheel uh, when there's already a nice 20 inch black wheel that goes on this truck that matches everything uh, real nicely. So I decided I wanna do just a few things to the truck to give it a nice off-road look. So let's talk about this. One of the things I wanna do is I wanted to level it out. Uh, definitely wanted to do that. Uh, of course, you noticed in the video earlier, it kinda had that dive uh, to it. I wanted to level it out. Thought about just putting a level kit on the front and then I got some information from Law MacArthur Performance Team, the aftermarket team here, and they suggested that I, I get the Roush suspension because it's going to ride so much better when I get up on the highway. So they said nothing wrong with putting a level kit in it, but it probably will ride a little, little weird when you're getting up to speed, especially if you plan on going, doing a lot of highway uh, driving. Of course, I knew I'll get it on the highway uh, from time to time, uh, so I decided I wanted to go with the Roush suspension. So Roush does a really good job. They work with Fox, uh, Fox shocks in there, so you're going to see not only leveled out, but you're going to see the Fox shocks under there, and it rides great. Very pleased with the suspension. Uh, I'm glad I went ahead and paid a little extra money and got the real nice Roush uh, suspension system there. Also, wanted to get some different tires. Leveling it out. I felt like it needed a little bit bigger tire than what comes from the factory, so I went ahead and went with the BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. They are the KO2 tires that we put in a lot of our different off-road packages. Uh, real nice, uh, had a lot of good feedback on these tires, uh, so it's going to be a really nice aggressive tread off-road, um, but on the road it's not going to be noisy. Uh, so I noticed that as I've been driving a little bit. Uh, that it's a real nice uh, tire and again a great sound to it uh, when I'm driving to and from work uh, so I really like the uh, that tread here I've seen a lot of different trucks where they have that nice that rumble uh, they have an aggressive uh, off-road uh, tire there uh, this and a real good uh, mix and combination for both I'm gonna about 90% of the time will be on the road 
uh, on, the high, on the pavement, so I wanted something that's going to be a, a real nice and not too noisy there. Also, I wanted to switch out the grill. So this black appearance package does give you that uh, honeycomb or that, that grill up there that you see. I call it the STX grill because it was first introduced to the Ford F-150 as part of the STX package. And so I kind of feel like it's more of a, you know, an XL grill and look to it. I wanted something a little more aggressive, so I did want to switch out the grill. And uh, we've gotten an RTR package in here before in the past. And I, I always said if I got an F-150, I wanted to order an RTR grill. And what's great about RTR is that you can order their parts separately. So I can get the grill or I can get the wheels and tires, uh, all, all kinds of things. They have fender flares as well. So you can all order those through RTR individually and put it on yourself if you want to. Or like I did, I had Lon MacArthur put it on for me. So a nice RTR grill. I love the LED lights in there and I love the bold, aggressive look on the front of the truck. So uh, that's something else that I decided I really wanted to do. So those were my must haves on the truck. Another thing that I said that has to have is when you get the sport appearance package, you get the body color bumpers, body color wheel lip moldings, body color door handles, but Ford leaves the molded in black mirror caps. I don't know why Ford does that. It doesn't take much. I body color, I wanted the body colored mirror caps, so I had Body Shop order those in for me. Didn't cost me, but I think about $100 to $150 to have those painted and put on. I think they had the truck for a day and it was done. Uh, so just something, uh, something small, but it's something I really feel like it needed. Uh, and so I can get rid of some of the molded in black mirror caps. So that was something I definitely wanted to do. A couple other things that I wanted to do, spray and bed liner course to protect the bed. Uh, we do those in house here. I'm not a big guy that likes window tint, so I did not put any kind of window tint on the front windows. You, of course, you get the factory uh, privacy glass on these back windows and back glass. Uh, definitely, I'm fine with that there in the back, but I don't like it here, up here on these front windows. Inside, I want to do something special in there. We've seen a lot of different designs for leather seats here. Of course, from the factory uh, 302A equipment group, you get the power seats and heated seats. So I wanted some leather seats as well. Uh, of course, I like uh, leather in a lot of my vehicles. My Expedition does have leather. Uh, so I wanted something special. We've done a, a bunch of different kind of designs on some of our different off-road packages. LMSE package does get the limited style seats with those stitching that looks just like you'd see on maybe a limited uh, trim F-150. We've seen some SCA Black Widow seats come through here. Roush does some different things as well. Uh, so I decided we work with Top King in Kansas City. They put the seats on. They get those seats from Roadwire. So it did take a little while with the COVID-19 going on. Uh, but they were able to give me the, the color, as dark a color as I wanted for the interior. So I wanted the black leather seats. I wanted the diamond stitch design like you're seeing with this one here. They have upgraded it for this year with an extra piping uh, there on the inside of those seats. And that is the scarlet color is what they call that. And I wanted a nice red there. Anytime you see like the special edition package on your F-150, that package is does have the red stitching on there. You see that also with a lot of your sport packages on the Explorer will have the red trim. So I think it looks great inside. Love the, how that came out and they're very comfortable, more comfortable than your cloth seats. Uh, so I think that those seats there are about $1,800 to get the leather seats put in them. Uh, very pleased with that. That's the install price. Uh, so that's something I want to add it to the truck as well. And then Roush hooked me up. So after doing this, I told him we we're going to be doing a video on the, the off-road truck that I did here where we had the Roush suspension. And we just ordered about 12 trucks, uh, off-road trucks from them, uh, from Lon MacArthur. So they hooked us up. They sent me uh, the Roush exhaust system. So I wasn't planning on putting it on the truck to begin with, uh, but it was out there. I really felt like it did need some sort of sound to the exhaust. Uh, your EcoBoost engines do not really give you any kind of aggressive uh, um, sound there, throaty sound. Of course, paid for the install uh, from here along MacArthur. We can do that since we're a certified Roush dealer and uh, put that, that exhaust system. Now, if you get an exhaust system from Roush, you put it on yourself or have a dealer put it on, you're going to have an on and off switch on that. So you do have that active exhaust. If you get one on their, one of their packages from the Roush factory, you're going to see several different modes there. But if you get one afterwards and have a dealership put on, you're gonna have an on and off. So I have a switch there, it's just right inside in the media hub area there, so I can turn it on or turn it off. So uh, most of the time I leave it on. I love the sound. Uh, I'll give you a clip of the sound. I'll tell you it does sound pretty similar to what you might hear on the Raptor since the Raptor does have the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. So uh, let me uh, stop right there and let me go ahead and give you a sound of what this exhaust system sounds like when I have it turned on.
So there you go. The reason I wanted to share this uh, little experience with you is so you can see from someone that has been doing these videos and been a, a product specialist here at Law MacArthur for 19 years and I know a lot about the F-150s, how you can order them. If you've watched any of my videos on our complete guides, you'll know that. Uh, I kind of wanted to share with people when I would order a truck, why I would order what package I would and the reason I would. And so I thought it'd be a great little video. Uh, Law MacArthur had asked if I could share uh, this uh, with them and with the uh, our, our our viewers out there on our YouTube channel so uh, I was happy to do that so hope you enjoyed the video hope you uh, realize that you can order a truck any way you want to from the factory you can have any kind of different accessories added to your truck just like I did here uh, all these were pretty much a la carte I pretty much went into Law MacArthur to the aftermarket team and said hey I want this done I want give me this I want the suspension I want some different tires I want this grill. They ordered the grill, brought it in. They did everything for me. I told them what I wanted on the truck. They ordered it in. They scheduled all the install for me. Uh, they gave me a loaner while it was all getting installed uh, and just gave me the truck of, uh, that I wanted. So like I said, I want a one-of-a-kind truck that nobody else has. Uh, and uh, I, was, I really feel like Law MacArthur Performance can deliver that for you as well. So if you've ever looked at getting something like that, uh, think about getting some of the Roush accessories, being a certified Roush dealership uh, that we are here. Uh, also think about getting some of the different uh, uh, things from Law MacArthur Performance that we can provide for you. Uh, a couple things that I didn't get that can be put on this truck as well. Uh, you can get bed covers on the truck. You can also get you know, fender flares if you wanted on the truck and some other different accessories, all weather mats if you want those. So all that stuff can be uh, handled right here at Law MacArthur. Even if you don't live here close, we do free shipping on a lot of our uh, different uh, trucks. So if you uh, finance a vehicle with us, we'll ship it for free to you. So if you want something one of a kind, you can order it. Uh, we can have it delivered here, install the uh, different accessories and then have it delivered to your door for free. So keep that in mind. Hope you really enjoyed this video again. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, hit the red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed to this content. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. Don't forget you can find us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can follow us there and you can also follow my YouTube channel that I started just after I went ahead and got this to just make it more of a, it's more of a vlogging type experience. So if you want to watch that video or that YouTube channel, it's uh, just hashtag Ford Video Guy. I'll also link it down in the description. So if you want to check that out, uh, don't uh, don't update or you know record videos very often on that channel. So whenever I have some thinking, some things that I want to talk about uh, that's on my mind when it comes to different Ford products, I'll put those on that YouTube channel. So it's a little bit different than what we do here at Law MacArthur. So uh, you can always subscribe to that channel too. So hopefully you really enjoyed this video and hopefully sometime you're going to get a nice custom uh, F-150 as well and you'll think of Law MacArthur Performance. Until the next video, we'll see you later. American made and it's my truck.